What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with an Android app review, and in this case it's going to be a home screen replacement launcher called Niagara Launcher. So as you can see here, I have a setup already going. Um, I'm going to be reviewing the Pro version just because I ended up buying it and found that it's the some of the features in the Pro version are or definitely make it a lot more useful than just having the fr uh, the free version. The free version is good enough as it is, but the uh, pro version offers a couple of features that work with the layout that I like. So um, to start it off, I'll go through some of the settings. So when you jump into Niagara settings um, in features, you can set up some of the settings like your Niagara widget. So if you want weather enabled, the ability to ch um, set your own uh, custom widget instead of the media player that or music player that's there. Um, you can show the clock, uh, media player if you want that, battery percentage, moving the widget if you want to adjust the size, adjust the placement depending on the number of um, shortcuts you have. Um, you can uh, turn on embedded notifications so um, as long as do not disturb is off then um, next to the app name you'll have an arrow that shows when you have a notification to so touching that will open a nice little pop-up which will allow you to get access to that shortcut you can easily set a new shortcuts a quick lock gesture so double tapping on the alphabet to lock your screen a shortcut to google search swiping up to perform an app search um, suggesting often used apps and things like that so all the settings are in, nice, in one nice little place um, and so in order to get there one of the nifty features of niagara launcher is an organized app screen so rather than swiping up on your um, home screen or having a home app drawer button and having the apps take up your entire screen you swipe in from the left or right of your screen and it all the their app sort of shows it up on the right side all the time but you swipe up and down to jump to the letter of the app that you want to get to so let's say i want to open um let's say i want to open InShot, then i can go to i and open the app but the nifty thing here is as you can see i ended up with InShot kind of high my thumb really only goes up to the where the letter k is so i can bring it down and jump to um, i and bring it to a place that's more easy to get to so the nifty thing about the app search is that um you the app drawer generally um, stops at about two-thirds from the bottom of your screen except for when you're scrolling up but basically it's meant to be something that's easy to access with one hand so that's one of the things I like about the launcher um, so next up is the shortcuts on your or is the sorry not the shortcuts but the actual agenda widget on the home screen so this I know is a part of the pro feature for um, pro features of the app so when you touch the date you get your access to your agenda so you can swipe up and down to see upcoming events create new events and things like that and then you can also have and get access to your hourly forecast so you can see um, how the weather is coming up you get you can see when the sunset is um, if you keep going you'll eventually see when sunrise is so a uh, nifty features built into the app um, so as far as the shortcut system so um, you can set enough shortcuts to fill up the screen if you want and you can adjust the widget placement and calendar widget up and down accordingly but the app really shines the most when you're able to use it with one hand so as you can see I have only four shortcuts which I'll jump through right now so as you can see my first one is for camera so of course I want access to my camera to easily get to taking pictures but let's say I want to also be able to have quick access to my gallery snapseed google photo and all of that I can easily go to G or I can go to um, as for Snapseed and SnapMod but that's sometimes can be a hassle and I want to quickly get access to those so by buying the pro feature pro version of Nigro launcher you can swipe on your shortcut from left to right and I have access to my galleries in shot photo Google Photos SnapMod and Snapseed so that way I don't have to go searching for them I can easily just go swipe and it's in it's within thumbs reach of those apps and I can even let's say I end up adding a new um, gallery app or a new photo editing app then I can add that to the list so if I so choose now as far as the media player um, shortcut 
um, that sounds pretty generic, and it is. is and that's because using KWGT, which is a custom widget maker, and pop-up widget, I have a shortcut to a media player app. So I can easily get access to pl uh, uh, playing and pausing music, skipping between tracks, and things like that. And as you can see, um, when I play this music, the background changes from a darker, um, a darker color to a muted color based on the album art of the song. So that way I know that music is playing. Granted, yes, of course, the obvious thing is, well, if you have headphones on or a speak connected to a speaker, don't you know that um, music is playing or not? And technically, yes, but sometimes I pull headphones out of my head and I forget to hit pause and music keeps playing for no reason. So um, that's kind of a visual cue that I know that music is still playing. So um, as you can see, um, the color changes, it blends nicely with the album art, so it looks like a very nice, clean um, music player. Now, let's say I want to have access to my music app. Same thing like with the camera shortcut. I can go to M for Music Olay, or I can jump down to P for Pocket Cast. But to save some time and effort in going to those particular apps, I can swipe from left to right and access Music Olay or Pocket Cast. So it's a pretty simple shortcut I have set up just to um, contain my music playing apps if, as I want to make it easier. Um, I can add apps like Disney Plus or um, Google TV, Netflix, and all of that to the, my media player shortcut, but that would bog down, in my opinion, that shortcut and ease of access to me playing music. And since I don't necessarily um, uh, watch or stream movies and TV shows all day long, it's kind of having access to something that I don't really need easy access to. So by only having my music player app and my podcast app, in my, as my shortcuts, it makes it that much easier to use. Now, as far as notifications, a similar thing going on. I have, I gave custom. It's made in custom widget maker KWGT and set up with pocket or sorry pop up widgets, so I can touch notifications. I see my top eight cancelable no notifications, and much like the music player widget, um, I have this set up so that um, the background of each. Um, app is pulled by, based on the app's icon color so um, you can see a slightly different shade of blue for the Kindle notification versus a Discord notification and same thing with Twitter the color pulls from the um, notification icon so you see um, so, uh, notification with a little bit more blue in it pulls more bluish purple the one with a little bit of yellow in it pulls a more yellow color so that makes it easier to get to notifications and for me my notification drawer gets bogged down with easily as you can see like with discord and twitter so swipe getting through those widgets is a hassle and while no niagara launcher works nicely with a small amount of notifications like let's say five to ten or less after that it gets kind of bogged down to be able to easily jump through notifications and get to the to the ones that i want so i set up this notification widget so that i can get jump to the notification i want to look at and uh, worry about the rest later now with search um you it's a quick shortcut i set up um to access quick search so just opening search will open up quick search but let's say i want to um, have access to things that i'm reading or i want to be able to get to my news i have it set up to swipe from left to right and access my rss app google the google's app and the news app so that way i can easily get to those via swipe um i don't think i have any other reading apps or anything like that i could probably include robin hood in there if i want for my stocks um, but for the sake of simplicity and current um, setup, I just have Focus Reader, Google, and Google News. So that's one of the nifty things about Niagara Launcher's um, quote folder system because it's not really a traditional folder system. It kind of uses the quick access to your um, uh, various apps um, search features or shortcut features and. It expands that to make it more customizable kind of like what sesame search does so with sesame search you can add, create your own custom shortcuts 
you know, within apps, so like within Chrome, you can add a shortcut to a URL. So if you have certain websites that you visit all the time, you can create a shortcut to those. Um, you can create a shortcut, I think, if memory serves from one app inside another. So if you want a shortcut in Google News to Google, then you can create a shortcut there. Don't quote me on that, but Sesame Search is very uh, feature packed as far as um, function features like that go so that you can um, create additional shortcuts than what you see here. Um, you can access various default search features. Um, or I guess uh, I thought Google had some uh, search, uh, extra search uh, f uh, features and functionality, but um, so I guess bad example, but basically that's the bulk of Niagara Launcher. Essentially, it works really well as a one-handed um, app launching system. If you're on the free version, you can access your media player um, easily with a, with a weather shortcut. Um, if you buy the pro version, you can replace the widgets and set, change it to something else that you use more often or find more useful. So for me, even if I did not you have the media player widget in um, my shortcuts, a weather widget is more useful to me. So basically, um, it's meant to create a way to have shortcuts at a finger's reach for apps that you use all the time but then also take it a step further and have easy access to all your apps so um, if you need want to easily get to all your various apps with basically in this case the whole time that I've been um, using this app I've only been using my thumb to navigate around so um, when you're using the app um, it's basically meant to use um, one hand, one finger at most, so that way you're not bogged down with um, having to reach to the top of your screen if you have a big screen, if you um, have a, a few shortcuts, or if you have a lot of apps and you don't want to have to reach to the top of your screen, Niagara Launcher works very well. So, and also the last thing is that um, one of the things I remember um, is that they also want you to be able to see your wallpaper, so um, the thing with uh, Niagara Launcher is that somewhere in settings you can um, actually and the one thing I forgot to mention or go through is the look and feel of the app so in the pro version you can set a custom icon pack uh, whether you use a custom icon pack or their Niagara dots which pulls a color based on your app icon so um, it simplifies the look and feel there you can set the app icon you can um, set your set a custom uh, default font so um, you can do that and then change a wallpaper um, it still kind of falls into the usual wallpaper issue of um, if you have a bright wallpaper then it's hard to see the fonts even though um, your text color is based on the wallpaper so light and it adjusts the light and dark but um, if you have you know a light wallpaper and dark text it can still uh, your text can kind of still be hidden away. It depend if the dark spot, if there's dark spots on your wallpaper that kind of make it hidden. So for me, that's one of the things that still where it still falls apart. But if you have a, a wallpaper kind of like for you, where like what you see for mine, it is something that will make it generally easier to work with so that you don't you can easily see your shortcuts, your weather, and all your information on your home screen and not have to worry about your the text that you see so that's all there is for this particular review um so overall I'm, I'm impressed with the app so the free version like i said works well but you miss you lose things like being able to change your cu the cu the custom widget from the media player to something else you miss uh, being able to do swipe actions to set additional shortcuts in your um in the, your home screen shortcuts and things like that so the free version works nicely, but because you have access to your notifications um, in Niagara Launcher, it works okay. Um, as far as the um, pro version goes, you can either pay monthly or annually. I actually did not note the um, prices on those. I think it's like 99 cents a month or I think 6.99 or 5.99 a year. But don't quote me on that if you want to have a subs subscription plan to help support the developer regularly or you can pay a one-time uh, flat rate to support the developer which for me was 14.99 
um, if you do have like you know Google Play cr uh, credits or things like that, you can apply those. But for fourteen ninety nine, you get a lot of good features, uh, continued development, um, regular feature updates um, within the app. So the developer is continually adding new features to make it more um, usable and feature rich. So things like the um, weather the hourly weather forecast just is getting an update to have some, um, updates every 30 minutes and um, very further tweaks and things like that so definitely worth recommend i definitely worth recommend checking out niagara launcher regardless of if you're going to use the um free or paid version but overall it is a very um useful launcher and one that i think i'm going to keep trying for a while now over other launchers that i've used um, just because I can access everything I need to uh, in one easy to use place and even with using you know custom live wallpaper maker in Nova with a Nova launcher having easy access to my notifications like you see here having access to my music media player and then also a weather forecast all in one place and in thumbs reach makes it a very powerful and useful launcher so that's all there is for this particular review so if you have any questions comments concerns or anything like that you can find me on twitter at patel n01 the website is patel n01.com for past episodes subscription links uh, supporting the show and all of that good stuff um, and of course, by being a supporter on Patreon, you get access to um, bonus content, um, uh, early access to upcoming content, things that I'm working on, and various things like that. So that's all there is for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.